welcome to this session to this lightning talk uh today i'll be showcasing you how you can test google pub sub locally uh using google pub sub emulator so uh let's get right into it All right i'll just share the screen uh, you must be familiar like some of the people might might have worked with google pub sub right and uh testing google pub sub locally can be a challenge all right uh but uh, google has come up with a emulator uh, which is a, which is just a docker image you can run a docker container locally and uh, you can test it out all right but what if you wanted to test it uh, as part of your automated test like unit tests or integration test that you write within your ide so th that is something that i wanted to cover as part of this talk okay so uh, to do this you can use test containers uh, I'm quite sure most of you must be aware about what test containers are, right? Uh, they let you run the containers programmatically from your uh, oh. test from from the code, basically. All right. So this is the setup that I have. Uh, I'll just walk you through it first, and then uh, I'll just show you how the tests run and how they interact with the Google Pub Sub uh, emulator that is running locally. <clears throat> so you can see. Uh, I have set up all the necessary things that the Google Pub Sub instance requires, which is the topic names. I have these three topics, place order, press order, and notification. Then I have a project ID as well, which the Pub Sub emulator needs. Then I have a Pub Sub emulator. Now, this is the test container that I've been talking about. And if I go into this, right, I'm passing the project ID and the list of topics to it. Over here, I'm actually creating the emulator container using the test containers. Okay. So this is how uh, the code looks like. I'm pulling this image. I'm sending all the necessary environment variables and command to it. And the this is how it creates the container locally. So this is your test container, basically. So when I do, when I do uh, pub sub emulator dot starts, it will actually start your test container uh, in your Docker environment. Then it creates a topic and uh, it, it gets started. Then you can interact with it and uh, finally you can stop it. Okay. So if I go back to the test, I have created my test container when I uh, instantiated this pub sub emulator. And in the setup, uh, you can see I'm starting the emulator at first. Uh, and then in the teardown, I'm stopping it. Okay. Now, uh, where are the tests, right? Uh, I said I, I am actually writing this uh, sorry i'm actually instantiating this test container to write some tests that interact with the google bug sub uh, instance so here i'm using uh, specmatics Specma specmatic google bug sub test space which uh, makes use of the async api specification that's there uh, that i have okay i'll just quickly show that so i have this specmatic.json and i'm referring to this particular specification which is my async api specification i'll quickly show that as well okay so this is the async api specification that i have and these topics are the same last 30 seconds sure yeah so uh i'll just run the test and show you uh how it looks like i'll also show you the docker container that runs with it just a second. Yeah, so we can see the Google Pulse of container has started. And uh, yeah, the test has run as well. And it has talked to the emulator that we ran locally. Yeah, so this is a brief introdu introduction to how you can test uh, Google Pulse of locally using test containers. And if not test containers, you can at least use the image to run it locally and do your manual testing if you want. Yep. Yeah. That's all from me.